Hey everybody, what's happening? How we doing? How we doing? All right, let's talk about Boston, Massachusetts. Um, I can tell you a couple good things from Boston. Uh, my neighbor is one of them, uh, and her husband. They're both super cool. Um, they're from Boston. Uh, Gubba Rob, my friend Steve Gubb, is from Boston. If y'all ever know, if if y'all never met Steve Gubb and you're in Boston, meet him. Go talk to him. He does tastings all over Boston. He's a good dude. Um, I've known him for quite a while. Done. I've worked with him. He's a good guy. You know what else came out of Boston, Mass? In 2009, something called Black IPA from a little brewery of like 700 barrels called. Um, Clown Shoes Brewing. They're very much an experimental brewery. They experiment with, like, all kinds of stuff. Um, they do, like, beer smoothies. They do um, smoothie-flavored beers. They got, like, super hoppy beers. They've got, like... It's, seriously, they've got all kinds of different beers. I see their cans everywhere, and I've always thought they were corny. Like, they all look like this. I've always thought the cans look corny. Um... And cheap. But the other day, I was walking and I saw this one. Mocha Sombrero Mexican Style Chocolate Stout with Coffee and Vanilla. Now, you guys know that I've been doing a lot of Coffee Stout video reviews. Um, and this is no different. I'm ready. I want another Coffee Stout review. I'm all about it. So, uh, anyway, within two years of the Clown Shoes Brewery being open, doing like 700 barrels, they doubled that to like 1,500. They've picked up a new, they picked up a new artist. They expanded their business. So now they have one guy in-house that designs all their cans. Um, their cans are really, really cool. Like, I really appreciate their cans. So, enough about Clown Shoes Brewing. Let's talk about this Mocha Sombrero Chocolate Stout. Um, there's more to it, but there's too much to say. I just want to get into it and start pouring, because uh, I'm way more excited about this than I probably should be. And if I had fingernails, I probably would have had this open by now. Damn, I don't have anything to open this with. Here we go. Let's use the knife. Nice. So... It's got a nice khaki colored foamy head that popped out of this little hole when I clicked it open. Um, I would call that pretty close to a, uh, I don't know what I'd call that a jet black pour. Um, but I would definitely call that a coffee pour, kind of. That looks like coffee, right? Um, as I said, a nice creamy colored khaki uh, let's call that two finger head. That's a good head. That's good. That's a nice pour right there. Uh, at a boy. That's a good pour. Um, so that's it. Um, there's some burnt, like burnt chocolate. You know, when you're trying to double, double broil or double boil some chocolate on the pan so you can make some fondue in the kitchen. Maybe that's just me. Um, but that's what this, that's what this smells like. Is like when you leave it on there too long, it just kind of burns. Um, but it's kind of coffee. It's got some coffee. It's got some coffee and some chocolate. Like burnt chocolate, burnt coffee on the nose. Man, that head's lingering for a while. That head is still lingering. Um, it took me a minute to get the beer through it. Uh, but, um, I get the exact same taste with the beer um, as I have with the smell. I've got, um, it's a little bit bitter. It's got a nice medium body that covers the tongue, I would say. Almost like, I don't know if you guys ever had the abuleta. I don't know if I'm probably saying that right, but abuleta is the, like the Mexican um, ch 
chocolates that you drop in a pan and then you melt it and it makes like a hot chocolate. Stuff is delicious. Uh, it's like instant diabetes in a packet for like three bucks. Um, but that's what the fill is on my tongue. Is really, it's like really smooth. It's medium. It coats it nice. Um, but it, like I said, it is slightly bitter. The caramel, um, the chocolate's in there. The coffee is definitely in there. Um, Maybe if it was a little bit colder, like I just took this out of my fridge, and my fridge chills at about 40, 39, 40 degrees. Um, it could have been a little bit colder, maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe if I had a cold mug. Or maybe if it was nitro or right off tap, it might be all right. I mean, it's still good. It's good. It's good. It's just not, I just feel like it should be colder. Um, there's nothing hanging back. There's no weird flavors that sit in the back of my throat and make the little punchy bag in the back of my throat, like, tingle. Um, it's all there. Um, I would definitely buy it again. I think it was like three bucks a can. Not bad. Uh, I'm actually even tempted to buy more Clown Shoes Brewing, um... More Clown Shoes Brewing Beer. Good stuff. Um, yeah, good stuff. I like the cans. I like the beer that I've had. This one. That's it. Guys, Clown Shoes Mocha Sombrero Mexican Style Chocolate Style with Coffee and Vanilla. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. If you have any other beers that you recommend or want me to try or whatever, if you have any thoughts on this, please comment. Let me know, like, share, do whatever you do. I'll see you next time.